My mother tells me that as a young girl, I was quiet and extremely shy, afraid to try anything that might set me up for failure. Taking risks was a task that utterly terrified me, simply because I thought I might not succeed in it. Perfection was and still is what I strive for, and as a child that drove a wall between many developments and skills. One of those was reading, and that was a major struggle of mine as a young first grader. I remember sitting calmly on the rug during centers with my classmates, attempting to read as they worked through their centers. The longer I stared at the dinosaur story, the more overwhelmed I became, and the more the devastating feeling of failure set in my heart. I heard every other student working through their stories easily, and the fact that I felt inferior to their abilities immediately turned me off from the task when I was only six years old, and it was simply due to the fact that it was new and I was not perfect at the task from the very beginning. For the next four years in elementary school, my teachers could not pay me to pick up a book and read it. Each of my teachers recognized my fear of reading and each attempted to work with me, but every time they tried, I merely did what I could to get by. There was no way I was going to willingly set myself up for not being good at something as important as reading. That must have been a sign to my parents that reading was not going to be a gift of mine. No one would have guessed that I would become a writer myself just years later. If my mother told me that I would start writing my own books, I would have laughed at her. I was scared of the failure that resulted from simply reading the words on a page. The idea of me making the words on the page and possibly not doing well on that would have seemed completely unreachable. Interestingly enough, 12 years later, writing is my utmost passion and reading is now my method of calming myself. When I was in middle school and high school, I did not write because I enjoyed it, but because I needed it. I was going through a difficult period and my writing was my outlet to express my suppressed emotions. Any difficult night meant many, many hours of pen to paper and the creation of characters who reflected a teenage girl who felt like she had nowhere else to go. Writing was my refuge and my release of agonizing pain that I never seemed able to escape. The novels I wrote are filled with deep, heart-wrenching emotions that I needed to release. Because I felt ignored and rejected by my family, my friends, and even God, my pen was against that paper in the wee hours of the night with tears flowing down my cheeks. Only through amazing gift of writing did God show me that He never left my side, even through the darkest nights. While He knew I was not ready to turn to Him, he was aware I would need another outlet to help me survive, and writing was his precious present to me because he loves me. Writing will forever be my desire and passion, and because God gave it to me, I plan on writing to glorify his name. Creating novels is what I do, and because of those trying years, I became a better writer. God is the one who shaped me into the writer I am today, and while I desire to be a teacher, I have a God-given passion to write novels that glorify him. If it is God's will, the highlight of my writing career will be when I hear back from one of my readers to know that my stories help them in their walk with the Lord. I will not know every reader of my books, but God will, and as long as God calls me to create them, I will do as He asks.